Hello everybody, welcome back for another video. Hope you're all doing great and having a great day. I totally forgot, I actually didn't even realize this yesterday. Totally forgot to mention this. Um, I've officially passed 20,000 subscribers on this channel. That is absolutely insane. Um, I honestly don't know how to thank everyone for all the support. It really means a lot to me. I never thought that the channel would actually make it this far when I first started it. I would scream thank you into the microphone, but that would just seem kind of crazy. Thank you so much for literally everything. Um, there's a lot of stuff coming out of China right now. <clears throat> I'm going to try my best to give you guys as much information as possible as everything starts to develop because this is getting out of control for whatever reason. So this information comes from the website CryptoCoinsNews.com. <clears throat> They say that the trading platform via BTC, VIA BTC, will officially shut down their operation based on the regulatory issues happening in China at the moment. We've been receiving a lot of news, like I said, the last couple of days about constant new things that have to be changed or whatever the case might be. We thought that this was simply for ICOs, but apparently this is like a wider thing right now that China seems to be constantly rolling out for whatever reason. So via BTC has confirmed that their operations in mainland China will be halted on September 30th. Keeping in mind, keeping in mind that this is just China and not the rest of the world that will be affected by this. A lot of people online seem to be panicking because they think that once these websites are no longer in China, that they will be completely stopped around the entire world. They keep saying over and over and over, no, we are just stopping our operations in China. So <clears throat> this is, yeah, this is it. So this is a piece of their statement that they released. It had to be a couple hours ago. I'm not in China, so I don't know exactly when this happened, but this is what they said. And I quote, on September 4th, um, China's central bank, together with six other departments, released a public statement on regulatory policies and warning the risks of ICO projects. Thus, via BTC has made a decision to carry out the spirits of the policy. We will officially close the website www.viabtc.com for exchange business in mainland China on September 30th, end quote. Um, this is something that needs to be said as well via BTC's mining pool and their cloud services that many people around the world use, and especially in China, will apparently will not be impacted by this decision in any way, shape or form and will continue to operate as usual because I know a lot of people are using their mining pool or look, are linked up to it and use their cloud services. So these will not be affected. And that is very good news. We also got this from the other exchange that was also said to be closing yesterday. They said the exact same thing. They said that things just happening in china will be affected but their their uh, mining pools and their cloud services will be still thumbs up so everything will be completely fine they have informed people in mainland china who use them to make sure to withdraw all of their money and all of their cryptocurrencies on the website before september 30th when they will completely shut down the website in china so like i said this is going to be developing as time goes on this is going to be absolutely ridiculous i can only imagine because the news that's coming out every single day just seems to, you know, hurt a bit more and more and more. Um, so looking at the charts right now, it seems like relief might be in sight from all the constant freefall. Bitcoin's price, um, actually, you, you can see from all the charts that people are relatively optimistic when it comes to these things. Like I've said before, we've seen all these price drops in the past, and we know that they eventually do come to pass once the news stops being so bad. Yeah, but the constant slow drip right now is just coming from China. They seem to not be, they're not able to give us all the news at once. These people know exactly what they're going to do. Like no one gives slight bits of news every single day. They know exactly what they're planning. And I wish that they would just come forward and say what they're doing because this is the reason why the prices keep falling. Normally, once we get a really big batch of bad news, within four days, the price is already going back up because people are already over the last news that, already, that has already happened. Right now, Bitcoin's price is hovering around $3,000 per coin. This is a huge level of resistance, but keep in mind, Bitcoin's price was $3,000 just one month ago. So it's not like the prices that have fallen, you know, they seem pretty dramatic, but we literally were here around 30 something days ago. So once this is all over, prices will rise accordingly and will be around the same levels that we saw them just about a week ago. We were around, what was it? I think it was 4,500. We've been getting constant news from China and this is where we are right now. So once again, like I keep saying, guys, um, you can take your money out. You know, I have a lot of friends who have taken their money out of certain things and stuff like that, but you know, you have to once we start getting good news, you have to worry about when the price will eventually shoot back up. We don't know exactly when that will be. For people who are into this, into the long haul, like I said, I usually don't sell. I usually, once the prices start falling, I just continuously buy. Prices may have dropped the last 10, 
the, the, the last couple of days around 10 to 20 percent a day but prices will eventually rise like they have in the past and this will result in massive short-term gains once we get good news whenever that might be especially with the prices as low as they are right now like some of the really big coins are i hate to say the term on sale but they really are kind of on sale and this is just because of all the news that we've been getting from china never ever forget that drops are always temporary no matter how scary they may seem at the time Alrighty, guys, like I said, if any new news comes out from China, I will try my best to inform you immediately because this is kind of ridiculous. Alrighty, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Once again, thank you very much, literally to everybody. I can't thank you enough. I'm um, sorry if I still sound hoarse. The cold will not go away. But yeah, um, I hope you guys have a great day despite all this ridiculousness, and I will talk to you all soon. See you guys. Hey everyone, thank you very much again for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys would like to help me and the channel, there are ways to do so in the description below. Thank you very much and talk to you guys soon.